Hi everybody, and welcome back to today's Dynamo tutorial. Today we're going to go through a little bit of a pain state that every single person that's ever been a BIM manager or as well as a model coordinator would have experienced. And that's uh, trying to remove import CADs and also making sure that all your CADs are com correctly linked inside of the project. Now, anyone's ever had to deal with this in the past inside of Revit will know that import CADs can get lost inside the project so very easily inside of views that you don't even realize and people will just go and right click and go hide in view itself. Now, a lot of people wonder what is the importance behind this? Well, having a CAD import not only brings in unnecessary layers, which increases your file size exponentially and makes everything become a lot more cluttered when you're looking for a certain line type or line style, but it can also bring in corrupted data. Now, in my experience, I've exp uh, in the last 12 months, I have gone through four models on four different projects that have an enormous amount of imported CADs lost inside the project. And as soon as I removed them by using this script, the model health went up amazing and the speed was phenomenal. It wasn't the server, it was the CADs. So the first thing that we're gonna do today is just run you through the difference between what an import CAD is and also a linked CAD. Now with an import CAD, it's a one-time only DWG that you bring into the project itself. The problem with this is that you can't actually reload this import CAD again while compared to actually using a linked CAD. Now here's the thing about it. With linked CADs itself, nine times out of 10 traditional architects, they will use AutoCAD or they'll use MicroStation and they'll export as a DWG for their details because they're very experienced architects and they aren't that comfortable using these tools yet inside of Revit. Now if you were to bring an import CAD in and we started building it up inside of Revit, and then the architect decided to make a detail change, we would have to remove that CAD completely and then bring it in again, scale it all up to be the correct size and put it into the correct positioning. Whilst if we have a linked CAD like down here, all we would have to do is go to our manage tab, go to manage links, go to CAD format and just go reload. And if the path is correct, it'll reload right onto the spot for us. So how do we find out where these import CADs are inside of our project itself? And how do we make sure that these are actually being used correctly and are not just painstaking elements? Well, what we need to do is we need to open up today's script called deletecad.din and you'll notice that there's this note here called CAD report instance. Now this is made by Bimorph Nodes. They're a really great company based out of America and they do some amazing stuff for Dynamo. One of my favorite tool from them happens to be this tool. So as you can see here, we have a report option, a CAD links option, and a CAD imports option. This is getting all the CADs inside the projects and filtering it out while also giving us a fair bit of information about what this element actually is. So what I'm just going to do right now is just click run on it. It takes a few moments and here we are. So with the report, you'll see that there's eight options. It comes up with its element ID, what the name of it is, if it's a link or not, if it's a, what the status is, and also the view behind, so the view type behind it. Now we go down here, you notice that they have a path or no answer, which means that you can't actually relink it itself. But we look at it once I say linked is true, you'll notice that it goes straight to my desktop, which means every single time we can just go and grab it and reload it. So now that we have this, we have our filtering aside. We have the linked side itself, which if I was to click on it like so, and go back into Revit, it brings up the actual view itself, which was Catlink 2. Now, if I was to click on the import instance and go back inside of Revit, here we see another option once again. Now, what's really important about this is that this takes you to the direct view itself. This can save so much time for going QA on all these views and sheets and figuring out, do I need to delete this or should I be keeping it? Now, if we go to our construction details sheet, you'll notice, as I said um, earlier, we have it split it up into imports and links. What I want to do today is remove all of the CAD imports themselves and make sure that they are linked. So all we need to do is just go back into the here and we just go refresh as a true and we just connect up this watch node here to be with this node called elements delete. And just give it two seconds. Excellent. Now we go back into our Revit interface. You'll notice that the drafting views still remain. The views are still on the sheet itself, but there's nothing there. And if we go inside the actual view itself, you'll notice it is empty. Let's go zoom extents, and there we are. So, with this being said, and all being done, 
this tool right here can save you an immense amount of time. And you can get a lot more complicated with this as well. This is just taking the CAD imports directly out of the model, getting rid of all of them. You can even get to a point where you can filter these out to be certain elements that you want to keep and you want to get rid of inside the import as well as the linked options and just delete them out. We'll be touching that in the next coming weeks. Thank you and have a great day.